Hi, welcome to Troubadour's videos. Today we're going to install the Coolance VID NX295 GPU water block on the EVGA GTX 295 Plus graphics card. So let's make sure we have everything we need on hand prior to conducting this install. Here is our GTX 295 graphics card. Coolance VID NX295 GPU water block. Thermal pad cutting guide. Replacement screws. LED wiring harness. 1mm thickness pink thermal pad. And grey 0.5mm thickness thermal pad. Scissors. An assortment of screwdrivers. Alcohol cleansing swab. Threaded card separators. And our thermal compound. Today we're going to be using the OCZ Freeze brand of thermal compound on these GPUs. And lastly, our hot glue gun. This next part does not come as part of the Coolance VID NX295 GPU water block install kit. A lot of you guys asked me about the EVGA GTX 295 backplate, so today we're also going to include that in this install. Firstly, remove the three screws from the front of the graphics card. Now remove the three screws from the back of the graphics card. Gently pry in the front of the graphics card and pull the tin away from the main card itself. Now remove the 13 identical screws on the bottom of the graphics card. But don't forget to keep these screws very safe in case you have to RMA this card back to the manufacturer at a later date. With all these screws removed turn the card over and remove the identical 13 screws from the top of the graphics card. Remove the two crosshead screws on the DVI bracket, as well as the four DVI port hex nuts on the rear of the L bracket. For this install you can either remove the L bracket by removing this screw, and this screw, Or you can bend the L bracket forward just to give you sufficient clearance for the top graphics card. Now gently wobble the cards against the air block just enough to break the bond of the original GPU thermal compound. Lay the cards down flat and now lift the air block out. Simply remove the fan connector and we're done. And there you have it, one of the biggest air heat sinks I've seen on a GPU graphics card for quite some time. Using your alcohol swabs, carefully clean all the old GPU thermal compound off the GPUs. As well as cleansing your memory chips. And all the other surfaces that are going to make contact with this GPU water block. Cleansing these areas is critical to provide them the best path of heat transfer possible for cooling this graphics card. You will also need to clean the contact surfaces of the GPU water block. This is to ensure you remove all oily fingerprints as well as residues from the manufacturing process. Now you'll need to cut out your thermal pads using the thermal pad cutting guide. This particular water block does come with two different thickness thermal pads. I usually start with the thin thermal pad first and conduct a dry install. This is to ensure that the thermal pad is making good contact with all surface areas. Now apply the thermal pad to both sides of the water block. The grey thermal pad comes with two plastic films on either side. I usually remove the clear film first and the blue film later. With all your thermal pads installed, you should be ready for the next step of the installation. Now apply some GPU thermal compound. Today we're going to be using the OCZ Freeze Extreme Thermal Compound. This is typically used for GPU and CPU use. After applying the compound, use a thin piece of plastic and spread the compound as thinly as possible across the surface of the GPU.
Now let's remove the blue film off the thermal pads. With all your thermal pads in place and plastic film removed, this is what your water block should look like. Now we're going to gently lower the water block onto the graphics card, ensuring it matches up with all the screw holes and heat transfer points. Now remove the blue film from all the thermal pads on the top of the water block. Don't forget to check and ensure your SLI data ribbon is securely attached to both graphics cards. Being very careful to ensure you don't disconnect the SLI ribbon cable, gently lift the second graphics card on top of the GPU water block. Again, be very careful and ensure you line up all the heat transfer points as well as the screw holes. Now secure the graphics card to the GPU water block using your Coulance replacement screws. I usually start the screws around the GPU first and then work outwards towards the edges of the graphics card. When complete, carefully turn the graphics card over and repeat the same process on the other side. Just wanted to add a little bit of extra bling to this install, so we're going to install the GTX 295 backplate kit from EVGA. This does not come with the Coulance NX295 GPU water block. This is what I would loosely term as a dress-up kit for the GTX 295. On the reverse side of the GTX 295 backplate, you have to install a real thick thermal pad. This is to wick away the heat from the back of the GPU. I really do think this backplate is going to be a great addition onto this graphics card. It's a real shame that uh, coulants don't actually come out with a backplate like this as part of this GPU water block install kit. Installing the backplate is a pretty simple procedure. Simply line up all the screw holes with the graphics cards and the GPU water block. Install all your screws and tighten them up. Again, I usually start installing and tightening the screws around the GPU first. Next install your spacer posts. Now very carefully bend back your DVI-L bracket. And install your four hex nuts. Now to install the three optional LEDs in the back of the water block, simply push the LED into the pre-drilled hole in the back of the water block and secure the three LEDs with hot glue. Remove the film from the back plate and finally install the wiring harness for the LED lights into the fan connector on the graphics card. And there you have one phenomenal looking GTX 295 Plus, water cooled and ready to rock and roll. Thanks again for watching Troubadour's videos. I hope this installation guide helps you. As always, if you wish to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in gaming and PC hardware and mods, feel free to subscribe.